Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So we're continuing on with the 5G UI and we're going to continue exactly where we left off in the last lesson. So we're going to come in the void on GUI and below the three lines of code we already have we're going to say fight gui height position is going to be equal to the offset divided by 50. let's close that line off into the comments gui position equals Offset divided by 50. So let's come below here. We're going to say if open and close brackets and we're going to open and close again. So inside this first set of brackets, we're going to say return to current time of value is greater than or equal to 10. So let's come into the comments. If current timer is greater than or equal to 10. And I'll explain how this is working. Obviously, when we have a value less than 10, if we just put them all in one block, we just end up with, let's say, a number 5. But we don't really want that, because fighting games don't do that. They'll normally say 0, 5. Which means we'll need one block for a value that's equal to 10 or greater. And then one that's below 10. So in this one we're going to say GUI label. Open and close brackets. Inside the brackets new rect. Open and close again. Inside that set of brackets. And in fact I'll enter. Bring that onto another line. We'll say screen width. Divided by 2. Minus. In brackets, we're going to put the fight GUI timer size dot X divided by two. So we'll use a comma. Actually, wrong place. After the first close brackets, we'll enter. Fighter height position, comma, enter. Let's just comment what we've done so far. So we'll say create GUI label and we'll say at this position x axis. And at this position, Y axis. Okay, we can come back to this line here. And we're going to say 5GUI timer size dot X comma. 5GUI timer size dot Y. We can come between the close brackets now, or we'll comma and enter. And we're going to say returned current time of value dot to string open and close brackets, comma. And then we're going to say fight GUI skin. 
So I'll just tidy up these comments. And we'll come to this line first. And we'll just say by these dimensions. And here we'll say then draw timer using GUI style. Or let's say skin. And that block is now done, so we can copy all of that code. We'll paste it in below. If turn current time of value is less than 10, so we need to change greater to less. We can get the or equal, we can just delete that. If current time of value is less than 10. And we're going to come to the bottom line here. So the quote marks in between them, we're going to put a zero and then plus the current time of value. And we'll change the comment to then draw a, I will use the quotes, a zero plus timer value. And apologies if you can hear the siren in the background, but <laughs> we'll continue on. So let's just tidy all of this up. And then we will save it off and we'll actually test it out. I'll move that line across so it's in line because it's part of the, these blocks. So let's save that off. We'll downsize for now. We want to come to scenes. We come to our first scene. Let's just load that up, main camera. And we'll drag and drop our fire GUI onto the camera. Now please bear with me a moment while I plug in my controller. So there we go, so we'll come to scenes, we'll come back to the splash screen, we'll make sure to save, we'll hit play and we'll just lay them through. And of course we're not just testing to see how it's working, we're testing to see how it looks as well, see if we need to make any changes. Round one. Fine. So, oh, sorry, I've attached that to scene zero. That's why it's not where it should have been scene one. So, I'll just come back the splash screen and we'll try it again so we just want to see how it looks see how the positioning is now obviously it's going to look very basic at the moment but we will add things such as a background to it and Round one. Like. Fine. At, a, at a late date but now we just want to see how it looks so I'm going to And switching to maximize seems to have caused a problem. But I don't think that's going to be a major problem. I'll probably just run 
after this lesson the build and run just to check that sometimes i found unity sometimes can be a bit glitchy when you switch into maximize so i'm not worried about that so as we can see the box size isn't quite big enough we're getting some cut off here I don't really want to make the box any bigger because it's already quite big so I'm going to actually alter the font size I'm going to say divided by 12 And we're going to see how that looks now. Round one. Fight. So, a value of 12 looks to be about correct. We don't seem to be getting any cutoff now on the zeros. As I said, we've got some more to do on the 5G UI, so I'll test out that maximise problem, see if it happens when we actually build the game. If it happens, if it doesn't happen, sorry, when we build the game, then it's fine. If not, I'll look into it further. But at least it's properly scaled, it's in the centre. We've got plenty of room for our health bars. So... I think we'll leave it here for this lesson, but we will pick this up in the very next video. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.